This is Bob Coulter with TMCI again. And today I have with me is Darren O'Quinn and his wife, Fatuma, from uh, Missionaries in Ghana, uh, Uganda. And it's so great to have them with us. And uh, Darren, we just welcome you to the broadcast. Hey, th hey thank you, Bishop. All right. it's, a it's a blessing to be talking with you. Well, it's great to have you and your beautiful wife. Uh, you know, before we start talking about your ministry in Uganda, uh, could you just tell us what inspired you to go to Ghana and how long you've been there? Well, um, I was born again in 2005, and uh, I, started, uh, I started going to a lot of spirit-filled gatherings, and I was going to a house church, and um, I was working in corporate housing, so I, I was... Um, and the house church, it was Kingdom House of Prayer. It's not, it no longer exists. But they, in 2000, 2012, <clears throat> they were going to go to Uganda. So I started putting money towards that. And then I started thinking, no, I'm making too much money. And then I start. I was continuing to save money, but I gave that money to somebody else. And then um, the next year, they, they went again. And I, I start. I started. And I wasn't working. I was just ministering the gospel on the streets. And so I, so I decided that I was going to go. And the Lord set it up. So I, I went to Uganda, supposedly to be there for two weeks. I wound up being there three and a half months. And then when I was flying back on uh, British Airways, the Lord told me that I would be going back. And then when I got back, I started working uh, demolition at a Marriott that they were turning into an assisted living. And uh, I started praying into that. And then it was either that night or the next day, a brother called me from San Diego and he said, what are you doing? And I told him what I was doing. And he said, well, next time you come to San Diego, um, come and uh, see me and my fiance. We have something for you. So I went to see him the next day. I was going to worship at the Kingdom House of Prayer. And um and he, when, after we talked, he handed me an envelope and his fiance said, you don't have to open that now. And, uh, but he hugged me and he said, that's a thousand dollars for Africa. So I went back and, <clears throat> and I stayed a year. And then uh, from that point on, uh, pretty much I've been there almost full time uh, since 2000, 2000, 2014, 2000, middle of 2014, yeah. So uh, tell us, when did you meet your wife over there? She was an interpreter on the team, and uh, she, I thought she was a nice, nice uh, young lady. But but I but I did not think that uh, that she was going to be my wife. I, I had no idea. Yeah, and, but um, but the the Lord worked that out too. Uh, the next time I was there, a year, and I started assisting her with the with the children that she was helping on the streets and ministering to and um, and getting some of them off the streets at a facility or a house that that she was leasing. And that was uh, that was the beginning. And then um, over the next course of the next year, I asked her to marry me. And in 2015, on October, the October, the third, 2015, we were married and uh, she has been a blessing to my life. God has been very, very good to me since I've been in Uganda. I've got I've got two little boys. They're uh, two, almost three and almost five now. And then uh, she's carrying another baby girl. So uh, in Jesus mighty name, it's going to be a happy, healthy baby full of the joy of the Lord. And uh, God is just wonderful. It's amazing to be able to partner with him in his ministry. Amen. Amen. Wow. Well, tell us about what's happening in your ministry in Uganda at this time. Well, right, right now, um, we've got, we're, we're in the U.S. because of, Fatuma has some medical issues that we have to take care of before we can go back. And we're going to handle, we're handling that now. And uh, we have a, the Lord has been um, building a good team for us. We have people over there long term from Pennsylvania, and we have teams that come and visit us. So uh, we're, um, we, we've built a big building. It was supposed to be a dorm, but we've turned it into the church. And now we're starting to evangelize. We've been evangelizing the village, but, but now we have many, many more people coming on Sundays and fellowshipping. And, um, and we're discipling them, teaching them about Jesus and about following him. 
and um, you know, um, it's it's an adventure. And then we've we've also started uh, purchasing a, a plot of ground with three buildings on it that we plan to build um, a vocational and a primary school on, because the children that were little little when we when we first started, now they're big big, so they need um, they need they need they need uh, some skills so that they can be self-dependent, be dependent upon the Lord, but also be dependent upon themselves. Praise God. Yes. Yes, praise God. Boy, you know, those children do have a habit of growing up. I know I have <laughs> children of my own. They all grew up, and now I have grandkids and great Great. So, thank, thank uh, you, Jesus. So how many children are you ministering to at this time? Currently, we have 113. Praise God. Wow. So how it's, is your ministry affecting the uh, community that you're working in? Well, hey, every, everybody knows that we walk by faith and not by sight. And it is, uh, it's a witness to them what the Lord is doing because, because he's what we have and he is everything. And he's our source and he's our supply. So they're witnessing the kingdom on this earth by our ministry in that area. And people, people wonder what we're do, how we're doing it. And we always tell them that it's Jesus. It's always his glory. Yeah. Amen, amen. Well, Fatima, you have been very supportive of your husband. And, uh, and we're excited about your upcoming uh, daughter. Uh, can you just kind of share a little bit what uh, the ministry means to you in Uganda? Mm. My accent is a bit hard because I'm from Uganda origin, originally. <laughs> so really we are blessed because me as a person, I grown up as a, as a street kid and my heart desire was to help street kids. I wasn't born again Christian, but I had that desire to help those children as I was growing up on the street. And I didn't know how I would do it, but I didn't pray because I wasn't Christian. So to see what God is doing, I know that he was preparing me to go on the street. And through me, his will to be done because uh, we have seen many children changing, and the gov our government testify about that because any child who are not really good with their families, they say take that child to, to love and care, and they will be another person. So me growing up on the street, I never know that God will do something good from me so i'm really thankful for the ministry we are doing and i'm thankful for my husband ever since he joined me i'm not the same and uh, i prayed for 15 years telling god i want the man who has a heart like you who will be caring about the children and not choosing this is mine or this is not. So God prepared Darren, and I feel like he's the right person God given me. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Well, uh, so Darren, you are an answer to prayer too. Uh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, like. I can see and uh, the love that both of you have for the children and for each other. It's, it's great. God will use that love to reach out to many, many people. And it's amazing how uh, God has used uh, for them this, uh, uh, experience to give her a heart to make it uh, a difference with other children in that area. So I praise God for that. What, do you have any special plans this upcoming year uh, for the ministry in Uganda? Um, well, we're, we're trying to finish the purchase of this for the land for this school. And um, hopefully in Jesus name, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll um, organize the school and, and have uh, an overseer for that uh, part of the project. And also 
we'll be able to, to take, take our children to school, but not only our children, but the children from the surrounding area. You know, we, 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 um, we desire to be a blessing to the area around us. Um, and, and that, that's God. That's, and, and, and for, for Uganda. You know, um, there, there's a, there are a lot of youth in Uganda and they, they need direction and they need things to do. Um, and, but, but mostly they need Jesus and they need to, to learn um, integrity. They need to learn to, to walk with the Lord and, and serve the Lord no matter what they decide to do. So we need to encourage them and teach them biblical principles. That, that's first. That, that's the first thing that we do. Um, and we watch the Holy Spirit heal those children. And uh, some of them have been tortured. Some of them have been hurt really bad. And sometimes they, they, they um, it's just remarkable what the Holy Spirit will do. Um, and they, they turn from angry or fearful um, to loving normal children, smiling and laughing. And yeah, that, that, that's our goal. But also, um, we don't just we don't just get them off the streets. We get them from the police and probation department. But we don't we don't try to hold on to them. We try to restore them to the families when, whenever possible. So before COVID, we had restored what forty five children. Yes. Forty five children this past year to their to their to their families, and then we we continue to check on them afterwards. And sometimes uh, they come from a distance away, but we. We we um, we support them in their schooling too. Yeah. Um, yeah. In total, we have reunited them like 142 for six years. We have mm -hmm. been doing this ministry. And so some of them we will have until um, until they're grown because we don't know where they're from. They don't know where they're from because they were abandoned when they were so small. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's just a lot different over there. It's a it's a paradigm shift. And uh, when you when you and Cheryl come over there and visit, um, we yeah, it's it it will be it will be a wonderful time. <laughs> well, I thank you for the invitation, and we'll just leave that in God's hand. Uh, Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you had a, a third member of your family join you uh, shortly, and uh, what's his name? Hey, his name is Freedom. Freedom. He's, he's, he's the youngest. Hey, Freedom. Freedom and James, come here, babies. <laughs> that is great. Uh, so you had you were able to bring your whole family with you, and that I think it's fantastic. Yeah. See, look. See, look. Here. Wait, wait. Here. Hold that. Hold I'll have to baby. put him on your lap and not for us to see him. Yeah. Here we go. Ah. Here we go. Oh. Wow. Okay. Come here, James. Come here, James. Come. Here. That's freedom, and and James okay. is coming now. Yes, James. James is here. He's getting in for his lap. All right. Very good. Now, make sure I know which one is which. The one on your lap is is freedom. This is freedom. He's he's about to be three, and James is is on Mama's lap, and he's about to be uh, five. Well, yes. it's a great looking family. And let me go ahead and pray for you at this time. Hey, hey Father, thank, you, thank brother. you. I thank you for uh, Darren and his family. Father, we ask that you continue to bless them. Uh, for Fatima, Father, we ask that you continue to put your healing hand upon her, heal her health issues. And Father, we thank you for the upcoming daughter that will be strong in the Lord. And Father, we thank yes. you for that. Father, I pray for the ministry in Uganda. I ask you that you continue to increase it. Father, we just pray for favor as they purchase this land and start these schools so that they can train up the children the way they should go. And Father, we thank you again for all that you're going to do for them and through them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Well, Hallelujah. Thank right. Thanks for being with us and God bless you. Hey, thank you, brother, and God bless you. Thanks so much for watching TMCI TV. If you found any benefit in this episode, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. If you are interested in planning a church, starting a ministry, or looking for 501c3 tax exemption status for your existing church or ministry, TMCI can help. Click the link in the description below for more information. We look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.